Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPad, doesn't matter what model iPad, what year you have, what iOS you have on there. If it says this right here, iPad is disabled, connect to iTunes. I'm gonna help you guys get out of this right now. All right, so the first thing is what we're gonna to have to do is hook the iPad up to iTunes on a computer. Doesn't matter if you're using a MacBook or a Windows computer. The thing is, if you have a Windows computer, you need to download iTunes. If you're using a Mac, then obviously you already have iTunes preloaded on there. What you can also do too, if you have a Windows computer and you don't want to download the iTunes and go through the setup and all that, just use somebody else's computer. Anybody else's computer that has iTunes, just go ahead and get their computer and hook your iPad up to it. Now, this is a very, very simple process. I do hope that we incur some errors just in case and I can tell you how to fix those issues as well. So basically what we're gonna do is a factory reset. So guys, remember, everything that you have on your iPad is gonna be long gone as if you just bought it brand new. Your photos, your videos, your documents, all your email passwords that are saved, Wi-Fi passwords, it's all gonna be gone. So hopefully you have a backup on iCloud or iTunes. Anyways, this iPad here is my dad's and he just sent it to me from Florida. And of course he has no backup, he just wants to get it back up and running so that he can use it. And his says disabled right here. And the reason why you know you usually get this is because you know you put the wrong password in after 15 minutes and after 30 minutes and after an hour, like multiple times. And then finally, you'll go ahead and get this message here. Now, my dad says that he put the right password in every single time. He just wouldn't read it, but whatever. We're going to get his iPad up and running right now. So first thing is we're going to go ahead and hook up the iPad, get your uh, regular lightning charging cable. We're going to plug that in there. Again, it doesn't matter what model iPad you have. The only thing is as long as it has like a physical home button right here. So I'm gonna plug one end to there and I'm gonna plug the USB part into the computer. Okay, so I just shut the lights off in here and I want you to be able to see like my screen and my iPad so you see exactly what it's doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and push my USB cord into my computer right now. We're gonna see what happens. iPad is disabled, connect to iTunes. Okay, so the next thing to do is go ahead and grab your iPad here and you wanna press and hold two buttons simultaneously at the same time you want to press and hold it's going to be the home button here and the power button up here both buttons you want to press and hold and don't let go until i say so okay so ready one two three press and hold i'm going to continue to hold do not let go keep holding it keep holding it we're going to see an apple logo pop up here soon i'm still holding it both buttons here i'm not going to let go Okay, I'm still holding on to it. Do not take your fingers off those buttons. Okay, now once you see this part here on the screen, you can go ahead and let go. It, you have the uh, iTunes icon right there. Now let me go ahead and put this down here. And now all of a sudden this popped up here on my computer screen. And it says, there's a problem with the iPad. iPad that requires to be updated or restored. Okay, no problem. So what we wanna do from here is make sure you click on restore. Do not click on update. So go ahead and click on restore. And now it's gonna give us another window here. Are you sure you wanna restore the iPad to factory settings? You will basically lose everything on this iPad, okay? So then click on restore and update right there. And let me show you both screens here as well. Okay, so it is rebooting my iPad right now, or my dad's iPad. Okay, you see a status bar here. Now this may take a while. It may take 10 minutes, it may take 30 minutes. Okay, so we're finally starting to move a little bit on the status bar there. Now the thing is, if you guys didn't even get to this because you got some error, or if your iPad didn't boot or nothing like that, what you guys can do is unplug the iPad, do everything over. Also, it could be a possibility that there's something wrong with your cable. I had this issue many, many times. This would charge my iPad, but once I try to fix a disabled iPad, use the one that's defective, even though it would charge it, it wouldn't work until I got another lightning charging cord. Another thing that you could also do if you're experiencing any kind of like errors or issues and stuff like that, is go ahead and unplug your iPad, and then what you gotta do is make sure it's unplugged, then those two buttons that we were holding, the home button and power button, just go ahead and press and hold those buttons, hold it down, don't let go and wait till you see the Apple logo and then let go. And then from there, go ahead and reconnect your iPad to your computer and start the process over again. Also, another thing that you might wanna try if you're having uh, experiencing issues or errors is go ahead and change the USB port on your computer. Okay, so this message here just popped up. My iPad went blank here and it says here, 
your iPad has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. So you can see it restarting right now. And you can see another status bar here starting to work its way up again. Oh, come on. It's been like sitting there forever. I have to go to lunch. I just heard my iPad beep and voila, guys, we are in business. Now from here is basically like you just buying the iPad brand new here. Let me go ahead and unplug this and let me go ahead and just show you here. This is the uh, startup screen that you get here. Let me press on the home button and there you guys go. So here's the very beginning stages here. I can basically just go ahead and send the uh, this iPad back to my dad just like this. So you guys should be up and running. If you guys have any questions or any issues or errors, just comment below. I've gone through, I've had every kind of issue known to man with these iPads. But again, I've done this like so many times on many, many iPads, even my iPads where my kid actually kept putting in the uh, wrong password. So anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. Guys, give me a like for this, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.